the curved surface area of the cylinder is 264 and its volume is given then the ratio of the diameter to its sides so simple thing we have to follow simple uh, method first of all what ratio have been given csa by the volume part so csa is what csa is 2 pi r so over here the curved surface area express in the ratio of diameter to its side so rather than taking csa by volume i would be taking i'd be taking volume by csa volume by csa you'll get the clarity why now volume is pi r square h and csa is simply 2 pi r h 2 pi r h now one thing is very very simple they want diameter by height they want diameter by height they have given us the uh, numerical value to 924 upon 264 this is what this over here will be pi cancelling out pi over here r cancelling r over here r can cancel out r over here and h cancels out h over here we are left with r by 2 r by 2 and this when you do the calculation uh, over here this will be coming out to be 7 by 2 this will be coming out to be 7 by 2 so from here the value of r comes out to be 7 meter or centimeter meter now once we have the value of the radius once we have the value of the radius so from here what i can do i can find out the csa csa is simple csa will be 2 pi r h put up the values all that we have 2 into 22 by 7 into 7 into h is something which we don't know h is something which we don't know we have been given this as 264 we have put up the values you can do the calculation over here from here the h value will come out to be 6 meter 6 meter and once we have the 6 meter this part so diameter by height diameter by height will be what 7 into 2 that is 7 into 2 is 14 upon 6 so 14 upon 6 will be what cancelling out by 2 this will be 7 by 3 so the ratio required is 7 ratio 3 our final answer option number b